guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be going over my makeup inventory. I will be including some pictures, not of everything. The only thing that I will not include pictures of will be my eyeshadow palettes. I just did an eyeshadow palette declare not too long ago, so I will go ahead and show or like link it up above so you guys can actually go back and look at that. But we're going to go ahead and talk about all of my makeup, how I've improved, if I have too much of something else. Uh, we're going to compare it to last year's makeup inventory, which I actually have notes of here. And I made a new uh, notes of this year's uh, makeup inventory. So we're going to go ahead and compare those two. If that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. If you are new here, hi, my name is Corey. I'm a lover of everything makeup and beauty. And usually on my channel, I kind of focus on monthly chopping blocks, on shopping my stash, using the products that I have. But I do sometimes every so often purchase new products and, you know, do some new reviews. So if that's something you guys are interested in, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you subscribe. And let's get on to today's video. So we are looking at comparing my makeup inventory for 2022. We're going to go ahead and take a look at last year's products and kind of compare them together. It might be a little bit of a long video, so I would say grab a drink, grab a snack. I will be including some pictures. The only pictures I will not be including uh, in comparison to my last um, makeup inventory will be my eyeshadow palettes because I just recently did a declutter and I did haul some new products. And I do have a couple of palettes coming towards my way, but I didn't include them in this like totaling because I'm not even sure how I'm going to feel about those if I'm going to keep them, which I'm pretty sure I will, but we'll see when it comes to that. So we're going to go ahead and look up at some comparisons here. I do have everything. Like I said, I have pictures that I will be putting up here so you guys can see my products a little bit up close. So we're going to go ahead and talk about my makeup inventory for 2022. Now this is where I total all of my products that I have in my collection and I compare to last year whether I did better, if decluttering helped, uh, my monthly shopping box have been helping so I kind of have a feeling that that has been the majority, um, the, that has a lot to do with the reason that I am decluttering a lot of products like throughout the year and I'm getting rid of them and passing on to homes that can use them. So um, we're going to go ahead and talk about the first thing which is brow products. Uh, I'm not a really big brow person. I don't really like talk about brows on my channel uh, but I do every so often try some new products and whether I like them or not I have a lot of fails that come into eyebrow products but the first thing that I'll go ahead and talk about is comparing it to last year. So late, last year's makeup inventory of 2021, sorry if I'm looking down, looking at my notes, I had five brow products, which includes powder or pencil form or cream form and three gel products. So I'm looking at this year's inventory and this year's inventory, I only have a total of two brow products, which is a day brow pomade and a mini of the um, Precisely My Brow and three gel products. So that kind of stayed the same as far as gel products, but I only have two full brow products. And I do have a backup of my ABH day brow pomade because I'm pretty close to finishing it. So I would say um, I pretty much improved as far as that goes. The next thing is eye primers. Now eye primers last year I had a total of six. This year I have a total of six. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily I improved because I did find like what I go to and what I reach for. I do see myself decluttering some of these in the future but right now um, I'm using all of them pretty much and I want to keep them all for now. So eye primers stayed the same as far as last year and this year. Uh, we're going to talk about concealer. So last year I had a total of 12 concealers and this year I have a total of 7 concealers. So I'm really happy with how many concealers I have. I do again see myself decluttering some of them just because they're getting old. Some of them that I feel like are a little bit more expired than others but we're looking at a total of 7 concealers in comparison to 12 which is for me honestly a pretty good thing because I feel like concealer I kind of found what I love and what I think works for me as far as concealer. Oh my god my highlight's looking really nice. I haven't, I actually am wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Highlighter on my face and I haven't worn it in a while and it usually works better for me in the winter and oh my god it looks so pretty. Anyways, moving along, sorry. Um, again, for concealer, 12 compared to this year where I have only a total of 7. I'm, I'm really proud of myself for that. We're going to talk about some foundations and last year I had 21 foundations and 2 minis and this year I have a total of 15 foundations, not any minis. I have a total of 15 foundations, which I'm really proud of. Um, it's still a little, I would like to see a lot smaller, more condensed. Again, I do see myself maybe using uh, some of these uh, 
excuse me, I do see myself maybe using some of these products in my chopping blocks, which I do monthly, and maybe decluttering some, because I am testing some formulations, because I just either, I'm just no longer feeling like they work for me, or my skin has been changing uh, a lot, uh, especially because I'm getting more normal skin, and I've been using a lot more dewy products, especially under my eyes, and chin, and forehead, I don't know, but it always re de depends, like, you know, it, it goes from seasons, so, like, right now it's winter, so my skin needs more hydration, um, and then on the summertime, my skin might need less hydration, or not even less hydration, but less glowy products, and I might have a little bit more oily skin because it is warmer, so it just depends, but I'm really happy with that number, I feel like 21 foundations last year compared to what I have now, which is only 15, I feel like I did pretty good. We're going to have to talk about powders. This was where I saw the biggest uh, change. Last year for powders, I had 20 powders. 20 powders. And this year, I only have a total of 12 powders and two minis. So we're looking at about 15, or not, sorry, no. What am I getting 15? 12 powders and two minis, which I'm really happy about. Again, I'll put pictures up here. But again, compared to 20 powders that I had... And I really wasn't using that much powder. I, I don't use a lot of powder. I usually just sat under my eyes, my forehead, and around, like, if I want to, like, sculpt my cheeks. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like that was a really big number last year for powders. 20 powders is a lot for one person. So, all right, moving along here, we're going to go ahead and talk about face primers. I don't think I talked about face primers, but last year I had nine face primers. And this year, I only have three and two minis. So I'm really happy with that number. I think that primers is something that I really like to uh, kind of narrow down and I kind of found what I reached for and I kind of found what I love. And especially because, like I said, my skin changes. And I am, I'm pretty sure it should be four, but I can't find, I can't seem for the life of me to find um, a couple of products that I know I love that I'm missing. So I might have gone like on a trip and I just forgot about them or left them somewhere. I'm missing like my e.l.f poreless putty primer which I love and I can't find it and I'm also missing a um lipstick that I can't find for the love of me and that's my Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk um and a couple of other things that I can't find but I I just don't know I guess they're just gone it's just meant to be so again we're looking at a total of three primers and two minis for this year 2021 um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh talk about eyeshadow palettes real quick because I'm not including pictures so last year for my eyeshadow palettes, I had a total of 88. 88 eyeshadow palettes. Um, and you might think, wow, that's a pretty big number. But this year, I actually have a lot more. So I counted all of my eyeshadow palettes, and I have a total of 91 eyeshadow palettes this year, as well as one single shadow palette, which is a lot of color pop. I have mostly all color pop single shadows. Um, and that's a lot. 91 plus one single shadow palette. Plus, I have, like I said, things coming my way. So I'm probably going to be looking at 91, 92. 93 94 almost eyeshadow palettes and that's a lot compared to last year I only had 88 uh, but again I do my monthly chopping blocks and I see myself doing really good progress with those and I really like those for myself as well because I am testing my products I'm doing the shopping uh, my weekly rotations that also seems to help so you know I don't feel like it's super overwhelming for me because I get to see everything especially the way it's laid out in my vanity. If you guys haven't seen my vanity tour, I did do a vanity tour. You guys saw I have some products laid out. So it, it also helps me visually because I'm doing my rotation that I'm making sure that I get a product use. Uh, but that's a lot of eyeshadow palettes for a person that purchased like 99 point, I want to say 99, 98.9% of my eyeshadow palettes I purchased myself. So that's a lot. Um, I usually get like one or two gifted, but it's still a lot. All right, moving along here, we're going to talk about bronzers. Bronzers for last year, I was looking at 22 bronzers, and that's including cream and powder. This year, I only have 10 and two minis. So I'm really happy with that number. I do see it condensing because I am testing some new products out. I currently have the new Rare Beauty bronzer on my skin. Um, and I'm happy with that one as well. But again, I do see myself maybe decluttering some in the future. But all right, I, th I think that's pretty good. 10 bronzers and two minis. I think that's pretty good compared to a total of 22 that I had last year. We're looking at blushes now. Last year's inventory for 2021, I had 22 blushes. This year, I have 21 plus two minis, which were almost at the same, at the same kind of um, number. But I will say I have a lot of minis. I did purchase that Tarte holiday set. That's why it came up to 20, uh, let's see, 21, because I did have a lot of those minis. So I wouldn't even say those are full size because the full size tart ones are pretty big and those are minis, but I still would consider 21 blush blushes and two minis compared to um, 22 blushes, which is probably just one less, but uh, I think that's okay. I love blush. Blush is like the biggest thing in my collection. I love using a nice cheeky blush, so 
and that includes also creams and powders. We're going to talk about face palettes next. I'm going to go ahead and show a picture of here. Last year I had 15 uh, face palettes. I don't know what I was thinking, but this year I did condense my collection down to a total of 11 face palettes. I still can probably work on it. Um, I do have two of those current uh, face palettes in my new monthly chopping block, which we probably will, probably will see after this video, but I am really happy with that number. I think, again, I can condense that a lot more, but 15 eyeshadow palettes compared to 11 now is a lot better. All right, we're going to get to highlighters. And this was the biggest um, kind of red frog uh, for me as far as highlights. I've noticed, again, what I love, what I don't love. And last year, I had 37 highlighters. 37 highlighters. For one face, and it only goes in a certain area. 37 is a lot. This year, for 2022, I have a total of 14 highlighters and a one mini which I think is a really big jump uh, almost half of my collection for my highlighters was decluttered and sent to friends and family uh and or gifted or just thrown away if they're gone like bad expired whatever but again 14 highlighters now compared to 37 last year is a big uh a big one for me I think I did really good with my highlighter collection condensing it making sure I love what I have and things like that so uh, last product uh, to talk about is mascara and that's the reason that I kind of wanted to talk about that because I'm only using two mascaras right now and one mini. Um, I did go ahead and get rid of some of them. Um, I found a dupe for my Emma Cosmetics uh, Pick Me Up which expired and I have the new Colourpop one and I'm also using the full size of the Bite Beauty uh, Upswing Mascara and I have a mini of the Rare Beauty. Uh, in comparison to last year I didn't really notice that I counted my mascara. Uh, so I made made up might I have had like a bit more than two, but again mascaras are something I'm running through and going through. I use those at least every three months. I switch them out, which is a good thing. Did shouldn't use them more than that. That's your option. But I think that two mascaras right now in a mini is perfect. The only thing I did not count last year, and I'm noticing here on my list that I didn't count this year as well, is lips. But I know I just did a, a, job, a pretty good job decluttering my lips products, so I'm really happy with that. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think of my makeup inventory for comparisons? I think I did pretty good. Uh, my kind of concept uh, of my makeup has been changed a lot. Um, I'm kind of trying to love what I have and use what I have and kind of if I don't see something working for me and I'm not going to just keep it just to keep it because that was my mentality before. Um, just keeping makeup and hoarding makeup because I loved it. But honestly, in, real, in reality, um, a lot of my makeup pieces are honestly display. And that's okay because, I, like I said, I wasted my money on them. And I can do whatever I want with them. But I'm noticing that the things that I am decluttering and I'm using, or not using, I'm sorry, I give to friends and family and make sure they do get used and make sure they, you know, get the use that they need uh, to get from other people. And again, it's just uh makeup is uh subjective to everyone but for me it's something that makes me happy and i love so i'm really happy that my collection is kind of condensed as far as like a lot of face products go to what i love and that's what i love and enjoy and i like to see my collection also like kind of changing my makeup aesthetics as well and just kind of realizing what i love the most what i don't love some things that i reach for the most some things that i don't and it kind of gets to know my makeup taste and what i like and what i don't so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoy seeing my makeup inventory of 2020 too. If you guys have any questions, don't worry about leaving them down below. I really would appreciate that. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.